वेलकम टू टुडेज एडिशन ऑफ अमेरिकन विजन आम हरप्रीत सिंह टूर मेरे वालों आप सबू प्यार भरी सत श्रीकाल नमस्कार आदाब एंड शलोम लाइक ऑलवेज से कि असं न्यूयॉर्क सिटी रेंगे हाँ वी हैव द पीपल लिविंग हेयर इन न्यूयॉर्क सिटी फ्रॉम मोर दैन हंड्रड सिक्सटी कंट्रीज स्पीकिंग क्लोज टू सैवन हंड्रड लैंगुएज सो एवरीबाडीज मोस्ट वेलकम टू पार्टिसपेट एंड कम्यूनीकेट एंड दैट फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच फ्रीडम ऑफ एक्सप्रैशन which is the part of the constitutional rights in this country and it was given to us more than 550 years ago when guru nanak dev ji walked on the lands in south asia and into the middle east that there should be an open discussions open talk about it and this year we are celebrating his 550th year of his birth, birth. his walking on that land that punjab di pavitra dharti and i have with me the consular general of indian consulate from new york to talk about that as well as some other issues which affect the communities at large and punjabi community in particular so first let me say welcome to him thanks for coming in bahut bahut shukriya maharaj aun da tuhada you heard me we are celebrating the 550 years of guru nanak dev ji's birth and worship right so there are some events going on and i am aware of some of the things which consulate is either doing or planning to do you want to talk about what exactly is lying ahead till november yes thank you tursa for uh, inviting me to your uh, program and uh, through this program i also convey my sasri akal and shalom ada abad and namaskar to your listeners and viewers i'm very happy to be here and um, i think you have made a very nice beginning to our conversation which is uh, talking about the 550th uh, birth anniversary celebration of uh, guru nanak dev ji as you know the government of india has um, taken up a national program for celebration and it was announced by our prime minister uh, several months back and uh, all offices of government of india all over the world will celebrate uh, guru nanak dev ji's birth uh, anniversary so we propose to celebrate it over two years which is uh, 2019 and 2020 2020 which is even better which is better yes yeah. and because uh, it gives you more time more to time. get yeah. get the message across yes yeah. and uh, i mm, i think we started in a very uh, nice way we had the fortune of uh, having with us uh, earlier in the year bhai baldeep singh ji who sings um, gurbani in dhrupad style and i still remember that uh, when he was in the consulate we had a baithak uh, session with him and with cooperation of uh, the sikh community and uh, gurdwaras and uh, i know i missed it because i was not in town you you are I missing know, you all can, the good events you, you, in the consulate can, yeah you can blame it on uh, me but uh, yeah so it was uh, i i was uh, everybody was telling me that uh, the consulate got transformed into a very uh, divine place you know and uh, the atmosphere that he was able to create and he sang um, uh, nanak ki aarti which i think is a very very powerful oh, it is. hymn it, it is, is. It really oh, yeah. moves yeah. you and oh, yeah. you know yeah. the meaning the deep meaning oh, in yeah. in, yeah. in nanak yeah. ki aarti and i still remember uh, that uh, guru nanak dev ji wa, was uh, sorry uh, ravindranath tagore was asked this question that you have composed the national anthem of india uh, why don't you compose a anthem for the world so he responded that uh, guru nanak dev ji has already written his nanak ki aarti is anthem of the world yeah it uh, is so true it, it is, is so true so because uh, kaisi aarti hue you know there is hoi. no doubt about so, it so uh, yeah. humko yeah. fir bahut cheeze pata chali usse uh-huh. and uh, then we did another uh, gurbani program with uh, with young uh, artists young talent in 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 our area and we are planning several events uh, and our emphasis is also to take this message of guru nanak dev ji and the sikh faith uh, to uh, non sikhs also uh, because you know uh, we if we just talk within our community then it's it's not good enough so exactly. i have spoken to a lot of people yeah. mm-hmm. uh, in in new york and outside mm-hmm. and our uh, next few uh, events that we have planning this year uh, will be uh, uh, will be held in partnership with other organizations uh, to take the message of guru nanak dev ji to to the the caucasian community the black african community the latino community all of the, as you yeah, said new york yeah, is, a, yeah. is is a melting pot of several cultures yeah, yeah. so we want to work uh, uh, on that and if anyone amongst the viewers has any idea uh, we will be very happy to to collaborate 
Okay. And uh, we are also planning, I was in Norwalk uh, uh -huh. in Connecticut uh, last week and uh, we met the mayor with the Sikh community of uh, Norwalk. Norwalk mein aapko yaad, pata hai gurdwara hai wahan pe. Norwalk mein gurdwara hai. So I, I met with yeah. them and uh, we are, the mayor has been very kind to give his auditorium in the mayor's office which can sit 1,500 people. Hmm. for celebrating uh, Guru Nanak Dev Ji's anniversary and we are oh, planning a very that, beautiful that, event there. That is fantastic, yeah. that is fantastic. Uh, uh, before we go into the other uh, aspects of uh, you being here and I'm just trying to get maximum out of your time here today. Uh, on Guru Nanak Dev Ji's birthday, besides going into all these details and everything locally here, is there something being done, especially in Washington DC also, which is basically the capital of the world in a way? Yes, good you asked me. I'm so happy that uh, uh, last Saturday, um, uh, Ambassador hosted a Baisakhi celebration as part of Guru Nanak Dev Ji's uh, uh, birthday celebration. And uh, it was a Saturday and he invited uh, members of the Sikh community from all over the United States. So we were also fortunate to be able to send some of our community leaders uh, and, and some of them could travel and uh, the, the best part is that we sent a Gatka group from uh, Makhan Shah Lumana Gurdwara, ah, okay. Okay. Gurmeet that Singh's team, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, so they, they went really and performed uh, really in the good. ambassador's yeah. residence oh, yeah. and I got very good feedback uh, oh. about their, their, their uh, performance and I'm going to post uh, some video clips on our YouTube channel and you can, you can show oh, it. That would be really great. So uh, really he has great. already started yeah. and mm -hmm. he's new as you know, mm -hmm. ambassador arrived uh, only a couple of months back and he, they also, so what we are doing uh, Tursab is uh, all of us have made a combined program. So some things will be done in New York area, some will be done in San Francisco, some in Houston. And so it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a country wide program. There are going to be a few programs in Washington. There DC, will of course know, be some yeah, programs yeah. in Washington. No, that's a really good to hear because ultimately, you know, the combining all the events and uh, putting it together. And uh, of course, there are people who are going to come to Washington DC is a totally different creed of the people, if I may say, than what we have in local areas. Mm, you yes. know, what we have in New York, we don't have in Washington DC and vice versa. Uh, going to the some of the community issues or the community related issues, uh, before I really hit the nail with the hammer, I want to talk about the census. We have 2020 census coming up. There are some questions which are still in the court, but we don't know yet. But I want from you to let the people hear that how important it is to participate in the census. Yes, I think it's a very, very important point you have raised and uh, I have been uh, meeting uh, members of the uh, community and also p members of our community like you who have been involved in the census uh, process. I met somebody who is one of the census commissioner, he lives in, uh, uh, in South Jersey and I met with him and everybody is telling me and I am then telling in every event that I attend that please stand up and get counted because census is the only tool which will determine your future, your the services that you will get, allocation for education, for health, for infrastructure. And if you have made this country your home, you deserve to be counted as, as part of the American uh, as, citizenship. As, as a person who, uh, who, lives lives on this, uh, who lives and walks uh, on, this, uh, on, on this land. On this land yeah. So this is exactly. your, uh, you know, karma bhumi, as I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your matri bhumi could be India, mm -hmm. uh, but this is your karma bhumi. You yeah. live here, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you, you, you work here, your children will yeah. grow up here. So it is very important to be counted. So I would strongly... That's interesting word, karam bhumi. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. And uh, it's very important to, to participate in the census process. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter whether you are a citizen or not. You, if you live here and uh, you should fill the form, you should be counted because, uh, you know, uh, we, it, there is no benefit in being underrepresented. If exactly. our population, if the Indian American population is 4 million or 5 million, then we should be able to know that it is 4 or 5 million. Yeah. Because only with numbers you get, you get political power. Political power, exactly. Uh, just to reinforce this point, I would like to say that the census is the form of the citizenship question. I have said publicly that I am not going to answer it. Or answering to that question or not answering to that question, there is no difference between that and that. It is necessary to count. Not only that the census, the Honorable Council General just said it, but also the district draw for election next. Whether it is local city councils, whether it is local assembly, 
standards here, congressional here, they all are based on that number. Those number they which we need to be a citizen here, get a nice citizen, what they will number again they have a kidney, but they are there is a little bit there and based on that they determine it. And uh, I'm going to take a small break here and after the break we are just going to continue, just after the break. Welcome back to American Vision. Hona si jede ke koshek bar gana suni diya hai People talk a lot about certain things, and I'm going to ask you those questions. Sab to pehla, I would like to know. You know, the people are talking about that uh, Indian government has waived or in a way has allowed anybody who has taken polit political asylum to have the passports and even the OCI cards. How far it is true, and what are the facts, and what are the just the talks? Good. I am very happy, Tursab, that you asked me this question because I think there are some rumors, and it is important to clarify the situation. Also, what happens is that if people don't know the real uh, situation, exactly, they go to brokers and agents, yeah. mm -hmm. and then they fleece them. My first point is that if you have any question, please come to us. Nothing mm -hmm. is going to happen to us. There are these fears that if you come to the consulate, they will report them to some authorities. We don't do this. This is not our business. That you, is the biggest fear. No, there I is, I, the it's street. a totally unfounded fear, okay. baseless fear. I'm glad that you are clearing yeah, it Indian up. consulate, you are Indian, you will not come here, then where will you go? Consulate is your home, you will be thinking about it and we will help you. If you can help, you will do it. If you can't do it, you will tell you. But don't come to the agent and the agent. Okay, this is the first point I want to make. Good to hear that. Second point ki government ne bhoat liberalize kandhi hai regime because you know we are aware of the ground situation. Ab is mein do category ke, in fact teen category ke loog hai mein clarify kar loo. Jo loog yaha pe aaye thai asylum lake lene aur unko asylum mil gai hai. Unke paas American passport hai. Unko hum visa pura dete hai, unke bachchon ko bhi dete hai aur they are eligible for OCI. Okay. That's one category. That's one category. Those we are talking about the asylum only. Asylum. Asylum. बाकी तो अगर जो national है वो तो है उसमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं होता अमेरिका में. लेकिन जो asylum root से आए थे और उनको asylum मिल गई है. उसके बाद उनको passport भी मिल गई है. They have obtained American passports. They are entitled to all services. Okay. Okay. As we give to any other American national. So we don't distinguish. Okay. There is. Okay. Now second category. Yeah. Then later on I will ask. I have one or two questions. Second category are those people who have not who have come here on different visas. They have not applied for asylum, but they have become undocumented here. Okay. If you don't have status here, whether asylum or 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 not, I am not asking. If you don't have status there, then we do not give passport services to them. Okay. We do not give. There is a reason why we don't give. Okay. Because if we start giving, we cannot be seen uh, as promoting illegal immigration into the United States. I got the point. Okay. Then everybody who comes on a B1, B2 visa, F1 visa, L1 visa, they will overstay and they will get passport services. This will, if we start doing this, this will hurt our own community. Mm -hmm. It will, it will, because you see, eight, nine countries have already been blacklisted. Yeah. Only last week, Pakistan <coughs> was blacklisted. Yeah, they will not exactly. give visas to Pakistan. Yeah. yeah. We don't want to have this kind of situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Our relationship with the United States is very, very important, very precious. It is growing. It is doing very well. So we cannot hurt that. Having said that, if a person who is undocumented here, he is trying to regularize his stay. Mm -hmm. He has filed his application <coughs> with ICE mm -hmm. and he can give us a copy of the application. I am not saying he has got the status. He has only filed the application. Mm -hmm. Even then, if he comes to us, we will give him a short-term passport to allow him to complete his process. Complete the process. To complete the process. Okay. Okay. Second category. Okay. Third category, which is also of interest to you, is that they have people who have come here. They have applied for asylum, but they have not got American passport. Mm -hmm. So neither they have an Indian passport, because the Indian passport has expired, and they don't also have an American passport. Government has taken a decision on that. Mm -hmm. And it has been what you were referring to. It has been announced publicly. But to implement the decision, some changes in our rules and laws have to be made. Okay. That procedure is going on in India right now. We are waiting for a communication that this law has been changed. Because I don't want a situation where somebody goes to court and says, you know, aapke rule book mein to allowed nahi. Mm -hmm. At the moment, it is not allowed. Mm -hmm. So our government is uh, taking steps to mm -hmm. change the rule. Mm -hmm. 
once the rule is changed, uh, we will be able to even give passports to people who have sought asylum but have not got American passports. Okay. So that is so good to hear because वो क्या होता है ना जैसे आपने बोला मिडल मैन दे जस्ट मेक द मनी आउट ऑफ इट यू ना सो पीपल वर एस्किंग मी टूर साहब थानू साहब पता होता है नाम लाइक या आई नो द थिंग्स बट आई डोंट नो द थिंग्स बिकॉज द थर्ड कैटेगरी विच यू जस्ट टॉक अबाउट आई न्यू दैट देर आर सम अनाउंसमेंट्स बट या अनटिल एंड अनलेस ए लॉ इज फैस्ट एंड साइंड इट्स नॉट द लॉ इट्स नॉट द लॉ एंड अनटिल देर इज ए लॉ यू कैन नॉट डू इट आई कैन नॉट डू इट एग्जैक्टली at okay. the moment you know there are elections happening in india mm -hmm. so uh, i think uh, that is also taking some time so what was supposed to have been done uh, is, is in the process of being done but we are very very confident that very that soon it will, will happen, will happen. Okay. and if it happens i will be, you will be one of the first people to know that it oh. will happen oh i'm so glad uh, there is another issue okay you have been doing these camps for the visa and everything outside okay within new york city uh, i understand that there are some gurdwaras and the management because of whatever their concepts are whatever their beliefs are whatever they think they don't allow the indian consulate or their services to be or that to have a camp there so that the people can actually access because you go to connecticut you just mentioned people walk up to you and you get the service so you go to south new jersey you get it done okay so are you planning or are you doing anything about or thinking about that okay if we cannot go into the gurdwara we will pick up a location a neutral location we will go there and we will say that okay the here is the camp the consular is coming you can come and get the services you see uh, tursab uh, what i want to say is that uh, we have been doing a few camps in new york area mm -hmm. but our experience has been that since we are also located in new york mm -hmm. uh, the camps are not very successful because okay. you know we we go on a saturday and a sunday to open the camps mm -hmm. but the turnout is not good okay so we because then we asked you know people say you know aap log to in manhattan mein idhar hi 64th street pe so you know there is uh, you know there is not much incentive to uh, to attend our camps because so, because uh, we are also located exactly. here exactly so uh, these camps make sense when we go far okay. like last week we were in harrisburg mm -hmm. this weekend we are in uh, connecticut and massachusetts Uh, the week before that we were in ohio so these camps are best um, uh, or most useful when we do it little when bit far away from uh, far away from yeah. no i understand the reason was because sometime like we already talked about and you clarified that the people they were afraid of you going to the consulate uh, you know they are not uh, they are going to report dekhi agar aisa dar hai yeah. so you let me know where to come we will come okay but your first point is also i want to just flag it yeah. you know th wh what what uh, Uh, these people announce is totally against the principles of the Sikh religion. Mm -hmm. No, but or any religion mm -hmm. that nobody can prohibit anybody's entry mm -hmm. to a place of worship. Yeah. A place of worship is open to all. It is. And I think Not if people are saying and doing such things, it is violative of the uh, rule of law in this country. Oh yeah. They of should course. be very careful. Of course. Anybody can you know can can oh, yeah. protest this and they will oh, yeah. they will. They will. They may. They may just take some action. They, they will be in big trouble. Big if trouble. Yeah. If that happens. So I, I don't think why. That. Why the very very uh, loving and sane people have got into this. I don't understand. Uh, but uh, as far as I am concerned, I only go to a place where I am welcome. Okay. If I am not welcome somewhere, I will not go. Um, I don't know how much time we have, but before I lose the time or whatever the time is, I have another question. I have American passport. I got the visa. through uh, you know um, either political asylum or otherwise okay when i apply for either america to go to india for travel visa document or for oci for oci uh, renunciation is compulsory okay but for the visa they ask you okay give us a copy of the passport if you don't have the passport and you don't have the number of the passport in that situation how you deal with that no you see lot of people don't have the passport but there are uh, for renunci let me also clarify for a long term visa oci which is oci no, or 10 year no no 10 year visa or uh -huh. an oci renunciation is a must okay. so i will request all your viewers and listeners that if they are looking for uh, oci or, uh, or long term visa they should get the renunciation done Okay. If the original passport is not available, we there is something called landing certificate. Mm -hmm. If that is available, that will work. Or there are other options available, including affidavit, okay. which we accept. Mm -hmm. So you just need to go to our website and see what are the alternate documents that are 
okay. uh, accepted. Okay. And just do that. And you know, we, that. You know, many people, I, we understand sometimes yeah. people lose passports yeah. or, you know, they may have, uh, you know, forgotten where it is. Uh, so basically like. it is a more liberalized it is a very right liberal, now yeah, yeah. than what it used to be. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, before we run out of the time, anything which you would, you would like to say to the viewers who are listening no, to I you just or who are watching uh, you? I want to say that... Um, you know, our, our community here um, uh, is, is very diverse. We have people from all states and all religions. And I think uh, uh, the Indian community in the United States is so well respected because of what we have achieved over the past several years. Mm -hmm. And it is very important that all of us maintain that, you know, and, and we should not get involved in activities which uh, hurt our country back home in India or hurts uh, the motherland or the Matri Bhumi or the Karma Bhumi. Because our uh, community enjoys a great deal of respect uh, in this country. And, uh, you know, the consulate is, is just an office of your country. It's your home. Do not have any fear. We are always available. On Wednesdays, we have an open house uh, in, the, in the afternoon. Or any time you want any clarification, uh, please come to the consulate. We are not in this practice of reporting you to anybody. You feel uh, absolutely uh, reassured that we don't do this. Uh, it is your consulate and uh, come and if you have any queries we will answer it and we will we do our best to try to help people help you i i really appreciate it thanks for coming in and uh, i'm pretty sure that down the road uh, we will do another show where you will be able to come in and we can talk some more issues uh, thanks for coming in and until next time good night and good luck